Baskin application video. POF the operation. When we want to make a new configuration, we clear the settings first. Next, select the wizard from the main menu. Set the thickness and material of the object, such as 20, for this inspection. Change group mode to UT1 or UT2. Set TX or RX mode to TOFD according to the corresponding standard requirements. Set the probe and wedge. Next, we need to set the speed of sound. Set the wave type, LW. Adjust emission voltage to the appropriate voltage. Choose 400 V4 thicker parts. Set filter, none, and set averaging for seconds. Next for TOFD calibration. Adjust the gain to appropriate values and observe lateral, bottom, and deformation waves. Change the starting point value to set lateral wave to the left of the screen. Change the range. Make the screen display only lateral, bottom and deformation waves. Move the U, R, cursor to the first echo of lateral wave. Move the U, M, cursor to the bottom of the first echo of the wave. Press Accept to complete the calibration. Next you need to reset the starting point so that the screen displays the three waves. Switch the list to Listing 2. Listing 2 is a TOFD-specific list. Next, set the encoder. Change the scanning axis to encoder. Adjust scan speed. Enter the resolution of the encoder. Set the area to be scanned. Next, set the display mode. Set the display mode to AB scan. We need to save this configuration file. Once you've saved the configuration, you can call it directly the next time. Place the scanner on the object. Click the start button to start the scan. Then push the encoder and start scanning. Click the freeze button. Save the data. This data can then be used for offline analysis on a computer. Open the data file. Move the red cursor to the first echo of the lateral wave.
drag the data axis to view the data. Move the two cursors on the scan axis of S to mark the length of the defect. Move the red cursor to mark the upper end of the defect. Move the green cursor to mark the bottom end of the defect. Click the three buttons on the menu to calculate the length, height and depth of the defect. Save defect data. The software will automatically generate the test report. Thank you.